so you've been number two at, let me get this right, Salford, Saints, Leeds, Harlequins, probably missing a couple. Why was 2023 the right time to be the main man? Yeah, I think I've been ready for a while. It's just that he was just taking that next step and challenging myself. You know, I, I want. I didn't want to just get comfortable. Uh, so when Featherstone rang me up, you know, I jumped at the opportunity to be their coach, and uh, it's different being an assistant than an assistant. But uh, I'm loving it, loving my time at Featherstone. They've been great with me. Fans have been great. The owner and uh, the lads are really buying into what we're trying to achieve. So then you coming in at a time when there was a promise in 2022, bit of a limp end. Why can 2023 be different, do you think? Uh, you know, we had a really good squad in 2022. Um, I think we've added quality towards our squad in 2023, uh, which makes ultimately competition for places. Um, and everyone's kind of given a bit of a lift. It's a long season. We're going to need those players. We've got a big squad. Everyone will play a part in it. Uh, and like I say, a couple of injuries and, and you, you're down to your bare bones. So, yeah, we have got strength in depth, but it's improved the, the, the quality of players who's, who's, who's come in. It's give them a bit of a lift as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that could be a part. And you've had a lot of experience as a, an assistant um, to add on to all of your achievements as a player. How important has that learning curve been since you've finished playing? Yeah, I've, I've learned a lot off my ex coaches like like Daniel Anderson you know how he managed the team at St Helens with you know a, a really good quality side how he managed us I've took some inspiration off him uh, and then obviously working with Richard Agar and Justin Albrook and coaches like that you pick pieces off each coach but ultimately I'm, I'm, I'm my own coach I'm, I'm not trying to mimic anyone I'm, 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 I'm Sean I'm I'm down to earth, you know, I like to work hard, my players like to work hard, we like to have a laugh, we have, you know, we have, it. We have fun, um, so that, that's, that's us, but we, we kind of pride ourselves on hard work and, you know, the community, what we're doing in the community and stuff, and, and if the fans can see us that we're working hard for each other and tipping in each week, win, lose or draw, I'm, I'm sure they, they'll get behind us. Quite the squad you've got this year as well, and there some big additions. Must be happy. Yeah, yeah, we've been some quite shrewd signings. We've not spent as much as what we, we, we thought. Uh, you know, we've got Chris Hankinson, Elijah Taylor, Mackenzie A, got uh, Thomas Lacans, Matthew Cosa, uh, and uh, Carl Carl Evans. So we've we've just added to the squad. Um, and like I said, the standards gone up through the roof in training. So everyone's fighting for a spot. So it, it's been good. Now we can get team on team, and you know uh, we don't have flog like one one player all the time. Keep playing and have burnout. We've got lads who can come in and do a job equally as good. So it's been really good. How important is that depth? Because I don't think there's anyone who thinks that there's a clear favourite in the championship this year. There's not, mate. Honestly, there's not. It's so tight the championship this year. I think every team has recruited really well. Uh, every team, every team has been. It's going to be a tough competition, whether it's you know your first home game, first away game, or your, your first home game. It's, they're all tough games, mate. You know, I've watched a few games at the moment, and, and it's hard. It's a different. It's different to Super League. Uh, there's some hard men in this comp, and like I say, some of working don't pay to or whatever got a good job and then they're turning up for training so there's some tough men in this competition so yeah it's anyone's it's anyone